Hello, my name is Carolyn, and I've been watching YouTube videos for quite some time, quite often on how-to videos with regard to cooking. I like to watch uh, handbag unboxings and reviews. And for quite a while, I wondered, uh, should I post a YouTube video? Do I have anything additional to offer? And um, I don't really think I could do much better in terms of reviews that are out there or unboxings. Um, but what I wanted to do is focus on a little bit different area, and that's how to get more out of your handbag collection. And um, many times we get a handbag and maybe you'll, we like it, but it's got some, some downsides and uh, maybe we would like to uh, use the bag in a different way. So that's what this video is about, um, how to get more usage out of a handbag that you might already have in your collection. If it goes well, then I will do more of these types of videos on handbags and accessories and move on from there. But uh, where I am going to start is with this bag here. This one is made by Dooney and Berg. It is called the Pocket Clutch. And if you look at it, it looks a little bit bigger than a clutch. Um, it looks small to medium size. It's got a really nice front pocket. It's got a zipper in the back. And you can see from the depth, it's, you know, it could fit quite a, a bit in it. Um, however, what's the downside to this bag? Uh, if you notice the strap, it's not really very long. It's like a short shoulder bag. Um, you could wear it over your arm, but if you have a puffy coat or a little bit bigger arms, you might struggle with the strap length. Now you could also wear this bag as a clutch by disconnecting the strap and attaching it to the side. You will notice this strap cannot be completely removed unless you basically cut it off or ruin, well not ruin the bag, but uh, permanently alter the bag. But what can we do? Um, I think it would be nice as a shoulder bag or a crossbody but we're not gonna get that with the original strap that comes with the bag. Um, so we are going to tuck this strap in and free up the side rings so that we could get creative with other straps that we might already have in our collection or straps that we could get inexpensively. So um, what I'm gonna do first is tuck the strap in so that we can get creative with this little bag. So the way we do that is disconnect the bag or the strap, and we are gonna tuck this strap in the side hole just to the left of the zipper. And I'm feeding it into the inside of the bag. It's still stuck, so it's um, not that much room in it. But anyways, so we now have the strap tucked in and you could tuck it all the way in the bottom of the bag get it out of the way and I'm gonna zip it shut here we go okay clean slate now we can get creative and we can get as creative as our imagination will take us but I will show you where my imagination went so first off is I recently purchased this coast coach Cassie bag it's the Cassie 19 this bag comes with three straps very versatile little bag. It's actually a little bit smaller than this Florentine pocket clutch. So it probably holds a little bit less and um, the width is a little bit uh, limited as far as what you can fit in here. So um, I think the uh, this bag can actually hold more, including a full-size wallet. So this bag came with three straps, came with this, this handle that's removable. It came with this heavy chain strap, as well as a leather crossbody strap. All of these straps come with gold tone hardware, which matches 
any Dooney and Burke Florentine bag perfectly. It also has a gold tone, brushed gold tone hardware. So uh, what we can do is now attach this crossbody strap onto the Dooney bag. go. All right. Now we have a perfect length for a crossbody bag. Okay. What else can we do with this? Let's stay with the Coach Cassie theme. As I had mentioned, we also have this heavy chain strap. We are going to Try that on another pocket clutch. This one's in the light taupe color. And for time purposes, I've already tucked in the, um, the strap into the inside of the bag. So the original strap is out of our way. So this one just clips on. There we go. There we go. Now we have a whole different look. Now this strap length, is not much longer than the original strap that came with this pocket clutch. However, it does add a little bit dressier of a look. So it's just another option of how to wear this bag. Okay, say we don't have a Coach Cassie bag to borrow from. What else can we borrow from? Now, a lot of people have a very popular bag, especially if you're a Dooney collector. I don't know very many Dooney collectors that do not have a zip zip bag. So this is what you call the zip zip satchel. In fact, I borrowed a strap from somewhere else for this one, but uh, the original strap that came on that zip zip will actually match um, pretty closely the natural color Florentine. So let me show you that. So this is a pocket clutch in the natural color. And for time purposes, I've already attached my zip zip strap to this bag and it is adjustable. So you can make it quite a bit longer if you would like. And just one more option. And this, this shoulder drop is a very, very comfortable drop link uh, for, for a short shoulder. So that's another option. What else can we do with this bag? Now, I happen to have um, some Bristol satchels in my collection. I'll show you what that one looks like. This is my Bristol satchel in the color chestnut. And um, surprisingly, the, the original strap on this bag is the same width as the pocket clutch and the stitching is identical. So let me show you that strap. There we go. This is the strap on uh, from my Bristol bag. And here is my pocket clutch in the matching color. And as you see, the stitching and color matches perfectly. So what we're gonna do is this time we're going to leave the strap out because we are going to use our Bristol strap as a strap extender. So what we do is take the original strap, take the end, connect it to the Bristol strap. There we go. Attach the other end here like so. And we now have a perfect length and adjustable crossbody strap. But maybe we are a shoulder bag girl. What do we do in that case? Um, so what we can do is disconnect here the original strap and we're going to pretend that we tuck this in just for time purposes and just connect a bristle strap. So uh, this adjustable, a little bit longer if you would like. And this is a perfect short shoulder bag. And um, so I am going to go back a step 
back to coach. And this is a small or a thinner chain strap. It came from the coachoutlet.com. It was meant for a coach dinky bag or something similar of size. And this strap is offered in both gold tone and silver tone uh, on the outlet right now for, I believe, $20 while they last. Um, I think this is a really good buy, uh, something that you can use on a variety of coach, Dooney, and maybe other brands. But again, it's in the brush gold tone hardware. It matches Dooney Florentine bags perfectly. So I am going to go back to my tote bag. got our light tote bag and I have the shoulder strap on here. I'm going to remove that. Now we are going to connect the inner long crossbody which it's a really good size uh, for a smaller bag. I would not put this on uh, like a, a big satchel or, you know, any of the, the heavy, heavy bags. It's just kind of a more of a light duty, but it's perfect for this. So here we go. It's another look. It's a crossbody, perfect length, and uh, one more option. And it's very inexpensive. Anyways, that's what I have for today, and hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, and um, if I'm getting viewers that seem to like this type of content, I will post more videos. Have a great day.